What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today we've got a heck of a mail day Monday. We've got a bunch of packages here to open up so um, I tried to make sure I blacked out all the personal info on all the shipping labels and uh, except for this one so I'm just going to open this uh, backwards. So this I think was uh, an Instagram purchase or trade. Oh well, that's an interesting way to, to package it. That's kind of cool. I mean people get creative. Okay, let's see what I got here. We got a uh, Posedra, the Atlantean uh, Dragon, uh, Justice uh, Klossos, Sangan from YS12, one of the starter decks, I think. X-Head Cannon, and, oh, that's right, I got this on eBay. <laughs> I forgot what it was. It's uh, Garnesi Elephantis. So this was, I think I uh, paid like 10 bucks. I think the offer, it was like buy an hour best offer for 12 and I paid eight or 10, or either it was maybe it was listed at 10 and I paid eight. Um, either way, it's hard to get out. It looked like one of the faded ones, and I kind of like those. So uh, they're interesting. They're ugly, but they're like so ugly, they're beautiful. So um, this is definitely one of the faded Cronus Elephantis. It's in near mint condition. Um, I'd give it like an eight, maybe a nine. The back's actually really, really clean. There we go. That's super clean right there. And then the front has like a little bit of scratch, like a small scratch right there, a little ding there. So um, this is in really good shape. I don't think I would send it to PSA for grading, but uh, it's in great shape. So we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll change that uh, idea about PSA. And then I guess these are just like extras that he threw in. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it's always nice to get extras. All right. Um, we'll do this big box next or last. Sorry, not next. Um, next, we've got this one. This is from the guy that I got the, um, all those cool metal raiders. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this. All those cool metal raiders first ed singles and also a lot of those faded metal raiders singles from. So I bought some packs as you can see. Um, and then a few cards, but he usually like his cards will be, if they're out of stock, they're still listed. It's just he adds a refund at the end um, for stuff that's out of stock, so. You never know exactly what you're going to get until it arrives. Uh, but he's always correct in his refunds. So I always check the math and it always makes sense. Cool. So this is the invoice. I'll set that up there. And um, as always, this stuff's really, really, really good. Uh, it's it's fairly priced. It's, well, it's beyond fair. It's incredibly lowly, low priced, discounted, if you will. Um, I think the prices are just outdated. He doesn't realize that a lot of this stuff has gone up in value, but... I mean, that's kind of his fault, not mine. So, uh, Curse of Dragon. Looks like these are freebies because I didn't buy these. Horn of the Unicorn. Why not? Amazon is Archers. Um, I think I bought that. It's got that really um, bad kind of warping, for, probably from heat or being stored in a warm place. But you can always bend that stuff back. You just have to kind of gently uh, bend it back this way so you're not creasing it. But you can flatten it back out or stick it under a very heavy book so we got an exchange from eds this one looks like it's a little played up let's see yeah it's got some play wear but it's still close to near mint if not near mint so i mean we'll take it it was like a dollar fifty so um it's not like i got ripped off or anything and then we got this first at harpy lady sisters this is another faded version so that's nice hopefully this is in as good shape as the rest of the um metal raider stuff let's see which were all like pack fresh. So uh, front looks pretty solid. Centering is good, but it's the back that's always the question, right? And this is in very good shape. Um, like a little tiny line there, but overall I think that's in pretty solid shape. So I'm gonna move it to a better sleeve because the sleeve it's in is kind of dirty. There we go. So another uh, Harpy Lady Sisters uh, faded variety. Very cool, first edition. Also, and these were, um, I think these are 10 bucks. You had them for 10 bucks. Then we got a Graceful Charity from Starter Deck Pegasus. And this was just kind of like, it's just a cool card. I love building old school decks. So I'm always looking for these because they're the original print. And with my old school decks, I usually like the original print over anything else. Uh, a Red Eyes from Starter Deck Joey. I think I bought an Unlimited and a First Dead. I don't know, let's see. Sometimes I forget what I bought. This is a random Curse of Anubis. It's probably another freebie. Uh, the End of Anubis. I think this was $5. And this, uh, oh, it's got some dirt right here. That can be 
washed off. Um, otherwise, it's in good shape. Not bad. Um, secret rares are just getting more expensive overall from the old original sets, so it's nice to pick them up while you can, while they're affordable, because just like everything, it just goes up continuously, it seems. And then we got, oh yeah, the Magic Jammer. That's right, he had another Magic Jammer, First Dead. So, um, faded variety, extra faded on this one. Look at that. That's crazy faded. All right, let's hope it's in good shape. Looks great on the front. And, ooh, looks really good on the back. Yeah, that's, that's probably gonna go to PSA. Um, it's a pretty darn good looking Magic Jammer. So, we'll give that a nice fresh sleeve and set it aside. Cool. Next, we got another Garnesia Elefantis. This one's unlimited. And this one's not faded. I have got a faded unlimited from him as well. This is in really nice shape. So, good looking card there. Then we got a Salamandra. This is a really dirty sleeve. Uh, we'll switch it out just because. But um, that's a cool card. Uh, I, I just, you know, it's a DDS. So, I mean, obviously it's not the uh, first DDS. It's, it's uh, what's this one, number six? So, it was from the reprint of the DDS, but still pretty cool. Next card is a Zoa. And that looks pretty good too. Nice. It's got a little line here, but I mean, I, I wasn't planning on, you know, grading it or anything. I just, I think this was on sale for like a buck or something. So I figured I'd pick it up. It's not a really expensive card, um, but I know his cards are always in good condition and that's really important to me. So um, that's kind of why I go with him for stuff. So Metal Zoa, this one's in very good shape. This could probably go to PSA if I decided on it. So we'll give it a nice clean sleeve. And the last one here is a Maneater Bug from LOB. And ooh, this one's got a nice foil shift. Check that out. So as you can see, uh, there we go. You can see the foil shifted down ever so slightly. So it's technically a misprint. Um, it's, it's not all that uncommon. So it's not something I would go crazy over. But um, I bought this actually for one of my old school decks because I only have a reprinted LOB one and you could really tell the difference. So. Um, I, I like these original prints, uh, and you could definitely, <laughs> that uh, foil is down there, so kind of cool, and it's in good shape, so awesome, even though I'm probably going to stick it in my deck, my old school deck. It's a 2002 deck, the one with the Jirai Gumos, so it's pretty cool, and then we got some packs, so we got a first dead enemy of justice, and three Pharaonic Guardian, these were his last Pharaonic Guardians, and then um, I think this was his only enemy of justice, so... There we go. We'll open those in another video because we got a lot more to get through. So look out for them. Maybe we'll pull something sweet. All right. Sorry I'm taking so long. Uh, this next one was another vendor that I bought from online. And um, I didn't buy anything crazy in this. There's no, like, it's, it's old school, but it's like Ancient Sanctuary. Um, I think like a Dark Crisis card. It's nothing like crazy rare. It's just the stuff was uh, for very good prices, so I figured why not. And I'm hoping it's in good shape. Because you know that TCG player near mint, it's not. It's not very fun. So um, I guess that's not a good sign because he didn't put them in sleeves. But uh, anyways, <laughs> we got uh, an, two Insect Princess, first edition. Pretty cool. Okay, three Insect Princess. I think it was a buck fifty, so I was like, why not? I mean... Uh, we'll look at the invoice in a minute, but I think these were a dollar fifty. So, three of those. Let's um let's start sleeving stuff up because it just makes me un feel a little uncomfortable, not having some kind of sleeve. So, there's one for insect princess number one, princess number two, and princess number three. Cool. And then, we'll move this out of the way for now. We got more. So here we'll flip it around. We got that Kaiser glider. Um, these are in really good shape. It looks like they were never really played with. They just uh, had them in their inventory. So, cool. Um, not everything was like crazy good price. Uh, he had like some old school, like I think he had a Chaos Emperor Dragon lightly played first edition from Invasion of Chaos for like 70 bucks. So it's not like everything was, you know, ten, prices from 10 years ago. But a lot of this stuff was really cheap, so I went for it. Arcelor Zerato. Love this card. Has... Beautiful artwork and just the colors pop so much on this card. 
This card and Insect Princess, the colors pop a lot. Pretty cool. Another Zerato. Might have bought three of these if you had them. Nope, Enemy Controller. That was another good one. Because uh, these are like, I want to say 10 to $12, and um, I definitely didn't pay that much for it. I don't know what I paid, but it wasn't too much, and it's in great shape. So very cool. Happy with that. And we had a Ghost Knight of Jackal. Might have been a couple of those in here. Let's see. Yep, there's another one. And another one. Cool. So we got a play set of those. And then the Miser de Ville. This is actually really cheap. I want to say this was like two bucks or less. Um, they're not expensive as it is, but they're hard to find in really good shape. This is in great shape. So this is like pretty much uh, almost PSA worthy. There's like a little thing there, but who knows? Um, but yeah, these are pretty awesome. And it's a cool card. I love the artwork on it. Uh, it's kind of one of the forgotten secret rares of the old days. Um, looks like we're running out of sleeves because I didn't expect him to not put any sleeves in here. Let's see. There we go. Here's a few more. All right. So moving on to the next uh, giant top loader. So I guess we have two of those now. Okay. What will we have? Again, there's nothing crazy. There's no LOB, no MRD, nothing that old. But um, the deals were really good, so... All right, let's go. Uh, there's Magic Ruler. So we got Banisher of the Light, Near Mint. I guess I could show you guys the invoice after this so you can see what I paid for them. Uh, Diffusion Wave Motion. I think I got a few of these, maybe three, actually, yeah. Because I want to say these were like 50 cents or something, something cheap. And I was like, yeah, why not? I have a ton of them, but I mean, they're cool and they're cheap. So very Meteor Crush. Pharaoh Servant, first day. Another one. And I guess, is there another Fairy Meteor Crush? There is. I guess I got a lot of playsets. I didn't realize I bought this many playsets. And then we got this badass Fuchsia Ricci. I love this card. The artwork on it is just insane. It's so good with the coloring and the artwork and just, it looks majestic but creepy at the same time. It's so cool. They did such a great job with this card. And this one's really kind of PSA worthy, I would say. I might send that in because I don't have one of those. Um, Ultimate Insect Level 1, I think he... Oh, you know what? I think he was supposed to give me the Ultra or Ultimate Rare. Yeah, so I'm going to have to contact him because this was supposed to be the Ultimate Rare. It was like 3 bucks or something. But um, And then another Fuchsia Ricci. So um, pretty cool. Cool stuff. Uh, I think this was supposed to be Ultimate Rare. I think he might have just got mixed up thinking that Ultimate Insect, Ultimate Rare, I don't know, maybe he didn't realize it. So let's see, um, I think this is the invoice for this one. No, that's the invoice for the other one. Here we go. Okay, let me make sure there's no personal info. Of course there is, so I'll just, it's got like my address on it and stuff. We'll fold that down and uh, let's see. So the Zerados were they were three ninety nine each. Enemy controller was ten bucks. Ghost Knight was two fifty. Mazira a buck fifty. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Kaiser Glider not too great a deal. This was a good deal I think for the Insect Princess. It's a pretty cool card for a buck fifty. Uh, Banisher was cheap. Diffusion okay they were a buck fifty. I thought they were fifty cents, but either way that's I think that's still a pretty good deal. Fairy Meteor Crush was fifty cents. Fuchsia Ricci was two ninety nine, and then yeah it says Ultimate Rare. So I'll have to contact him because it was only two bucks. I'm not really tripping on it. Um, obviously, it was pretty cheap. Uh, and that's my PayPal email. I don't care if you guys see it. Uh, go ahead and send me money. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, that's a little unfortunate. But overall, I'm really happy with the prices that I got for those cards. And they're in great shape. They're um, in near mint to mint condition. So that's cool with me. All right, finally, we've got this giant box, and um, I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can, but there's some really nice things. There's two really nice things that we need to look at in here um, so I can verify their condition, but uh, let's see. So I'll do that as quickly as I can. I don't like to let videos go too long, um, but sometimes you just can't help it, you know? you got to get through some stuff, so... Let's get rid of all this packaging here. And then he didn't he didn't have top loaders, unfortunately, but 
this is how he packed them and I think it's pretty good. Um, it's mostly commons and then there's a few hollows on the inside. Uh, so I was like, that's fine, you know, do your best and if there's any damage, we'll talk about it later. So it was an Instagram purchase, so no businesses or anything. Um, just trusting someone. Um, it's kind of what you got to do sometimes. So let's open up this first one and see what we get. Now he said he put the hollows in sleeves. So this one might not have any hollows. It might be all commons. And it's just like the commons, I don't really care for them. There's nothing crazy in there. But um, it's mostly uh, just like old school stuff. And, you know, not in bad shape. Like first at uh, Power of Kaishin, that's a, a nice um, short print. So just some cool, it's cool stuff, you know. Old school first eds, LOB stuff like that. So, um, in terms of value, you know, there's not a whole lot there, but, um, I didn't buy this for the commons, so I'm not really going to go through them. Uh, it's just what you would imagine a bunch of old school, half first ed, half unlimited commons. I'd say more unlimited actually than first ed, um, because I saw the photos of most of the commons. All right. Little mini package number two. This also doesn't look like it's got foils. So hopefully number three does. A little change of heart there. That's kind of cool. Upstart Goblin. That was one of the ones that I knew would be worth a buck or two. But um, otherwise, there's not really much in here, as I said. So this looks like, yeah, just a bunch of random stuff. It's cool stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love old school commons. Love them. Especially short prints. Those are my favorites. All right, yeah, I can tell there's a bit of a lip here. So this is definitely the one with the foils in it. Um, it's not a ton, but I don't know, 20 or so. And there's, like I said, there's two that I really want to look at because they're first dead and they're old school. So we're going to um, do that here. Boom. Okay. So more commons, just make sure there's no foils. Cool. This was one of the good commons. I mean, it's a little beat up, but it's pretty nice. All right. So for the foils, we got a pot of greed. Nice uh, old played pot of greed, but oh yeah, the rares. I forgot there's rares in here. There's a lot of rares. So infinite cards is a nice one. Extermination. Um, we'll go through it pretty quickly. Uh, there's an acid trap hole from uh, DDS, uh, what is that, number five. Some more rares. Quite a few rares. That's a cool one, Magician of Faith. A lot of these are in not great shape, so I'm really hoping these foils are good. He said that he never played with the foils. He, he just put them straight in the in the binder, the ones that, um, that I'm most concerned with. So we'll see. A flame ghost though, first dead, pretty cool. And a flower wolf. Love first dead LOB rares. All right, cool. So here's some, and then a skill drain. That's always good too. So here's a first dead invader of the throne. Not really a real valuable car. That's in great shape though. So he wasn't lying about that one. That's nice to know. All right, cool. Uh, Celtic guardian this is unlimited. Um, Looks like it might be the wavy print slash first print unlimited. Uh, let's see. No, not really. I don't know. It doesn't really look like it. So um, that's a cool card, though. Really nostalgic. I love that card. This blue eyes was just too cool to pass up on because it's really dark. Um, it's unlimited, but it, it looks like a first dead because it's super dark. So it's a pretty cool card. Um, not really worried about the condition of this. This is probably light play to moderate play. And then we got another one here. This one's just same, like moderate play. All right, so this is one of the ones I really am hoping is in good shape. It's a uh, first print um, slash wavy print, whatever you want to call it, of Exodia the Forbidden One, first at LOB. Um, I mean, it looks decent, so let's check it out. Yeah, it's in good shape. This is the most expensive card in this lot. Um, it's off center, top to bottom, but in terms of, well, the back's a little, yeah, the back is probably, I'd give it light play because of the back. The front looks great, but the back has like 
You know, it's not a ton of scratches or anything. It's just like some wear. So light to moderate play. Um, in terms of value for this, it, this is more of a binder card because it would a PSA would probably give us like a six or, yeah, I, I'd say they probably give this a six. There's no creases, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I would say, yeah, I would say a PSA six is most likely what this would get. So in terms of value, it's a good binder card um, because it is that wavy print that people kind of want that more. Um, I, I don't know, I put a value about 150, so it's not too bad. It's nice to have, and it's not like, again, it's not creased, it's not really damaged. It just has some, some wear on the back. Someone loved it, someone loved it. And then, uh, let's see, we got this SDJ Red Eyes, this uh, Jump Red Eyes or JMP Red Eyes. This is pretty cool, let's see if it's in good shape. That looks pretty good. We got a Suijin from Metal Raiders, a uh, SDY Dark Magician. Pretty classic card. It's like very lightly played. Another one. Let's see this one. Uh, this one's definitely got some play, so I would I give that a played condition. Diffusion wave motion, because why not? I don't have enough of these, right? <laughs> I have so many of these. It's ridiculous. I got like twenty something. Um, this one's in really good shape, though. This looks nice. Black pendant. Uh, card destruction, pretty old school OG card right there. Another graceful charity, and this is a polymerization. So this is the other card I was hoping would be in good shape. It's a first dead LOB. Uh, it's American English, and this is of the second print slash uh, glossy type. It is not wavy, as you can see. Pretty flat foil. Um, let's see. So the front looks good. It's got a tiny bit of edge wear up there, but. And just like a tiny, tiny bit in that area. And the back, again, just a tiny bit. It's really not much. It looks like just wear from being in a sleeve that wasn't a good sleeve. So I'd probably give this an eight overall, maybe eight and a half. It's actually in pretty good shape. So I'm not terribly disappointed for what I paid. I'm a little disappointed the Blue Eyes was, or sorry, the um, Dark Magician. Dang, I'm really messing this up. <laughs> the Exodia head. There we go. Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. I wish they were in here. I mean, they are, but not from LOB. Um, oh, there he is. So um, I'm a little disappointed in the Exodia being kind of played on the back, but it's a great binder card for anyone who needs one um, and isn't like super concerned about condition. And there's pretty much like the Mass Beast. That's pretty cool. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Uh, unlimited though. Star Deck Pegasus. Uh, this is an unlimited reverse foil, Thousand Dragons, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can see the Secret Rare is going this direction as opposed to this direction. So um, that's what we call the reverse foil. It's pretty common for being a misprint if you even want to call it a misprint. <clears throat> but it's still pretty cool. It's desired. A lot of people like them. I usually sell them pretty quickly. And then this Tribe Infecting Virus. So if this ever gets off the ban list, uh, which is it has no business being on the ban list, I don't care what you say about mermails or anything else. Um, it's just the card is slow, so it's not going to do anything. You can put it at three, and it won't do anything. Uh, once that comes off the ban list, hopefully some hype will build up. And I have a small cache of these that I can just unload. So, But anyways, I like this card. It's cool. Um, so that's my Mail Day Monday. That is the biggest, longest Mail Day I've ever done. I apologize to those of you who found it boring or, you know, if, if this was too long for you, my bad. I'll try to make them shorter. Um, or break them up if you guys would rather do that. Just leave a comment in the comment section um, with some feedback. But otherwise, I appreciate you all watching. Hope this was nostalgic for some of you guys. And as always, stay tuned for awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.